Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of The Source. Uh, as you probably heard in my last video, that Bulls loss, devastating. Um, OKC's at halftime right now, they're down 10. But they'll probably lose too, because that was another stupid square pick. Oh my god. Whatever. Uh, MLB bet of the day hit. We took Toronto at plus money, that was dope. So, some positivity to go by. But let's put it in the past. The NBA playoffs officially start four games. Uh, this video, Hawks, Celtics, let's go. Welcome to The Source. Get the sewers. All right, game one in Boston. This line opens up Boston minus eight, but early sharp action is all over the Celtics and the books respond to it. They move that line right up to nine. Since then, really no movement at all. Public is slightly leaning uh, Celtics. Sharp action definitely still on the Celtics. Let's take a look at our spreadsheet. According to the model, the line for this game should be Boston minus 9.36. So really no lean at all, but we're tossing the model out for the playoffs anyway, as I've already said. Quick matchup history between these two teams. They've met three times this season. Boston won all three. Um, March 11th was really the only recent meaningful matchup. And it actually wasn't a blowout. The game was in Atlanta. Final score was 134-125. That game in particular is actually a perfect representation of how I think this series is going to go. Uh, tons of points. We'll start with the Hawks offense. We know that they don't shoot any threes. Dead last in three-point frequency. All of their offense comes from mid-range and at the basket. But that's not terrible news because the Celtics defense, their strength is on the perimeter. That's what they do. They shut down the three-point shot. Hawks don't take any threes, so... This Hawks offense is actually a tough matchup for Boston. Not to mention, this Atlanta offense has been flying under the radar. They've been good since the All-Star break. They're fourth in offensive efficiency. Fourth most efficient offense in the NBA. Second in offensive rebounding rate. 10th in turnover rate. Ninth in free throw rate. Now keep in mind, when these two teams met on March 11th, there was no Robert Williams III. Having a healthy RW3 is definitely going to help the Celtics defending a team, especially like the Hawks. But the way this Hawks offense is built, they're going to score points on Boston with or without RW3 on the floor. But when we flip it to the other side here's where it becomes a huge problem for atlanta uh what is the hawks biggest weakness on defense defending the three-point shot they're just 26th against the three-point shot since the all-star break they're playing the boston celtics that's all the celtics do offensively 44.3 percent of the boston shot attempts this year have come from three that's all this celtics offense does is launch triple and they draw one of the worst perimeter defenses in the nba in the first round i mean that's a mismatch from hell boston may average 135 a night in this series i'm going celtics i'm going over and i'm going boston team total over and i may do that four straight times as a celtics sweep them so let's head over to odd jam get the best value you on our bets here looks like boston minus nine we can get that on minus 110 on several books so let's lock that in um over i'm taking 230 and a half you can get it at minus 109 on barstool let's lock that one in and boston team total over 119 and a half minus 120 on bet mgm or caesars normally i put player props in this video but we're short on time i got four videos to get out tonight and we have a live mlb show in the morning so um, I'll definitely put some player props on the ticket. Any changes to these bets, I will let you know on Twitter. So give me a follow there if you're interested. Um, final ticket posted on kylekerms.com. NBA playoffs have begun. Let's shake off the last couple days. Have ourselves a nice Saturday. Remember to bet responsibly and I'll talk to you on Twitter.